Hey guys, how's it going? Kapran here. So some pretty big news came up today. Uh, it turns out that in Google's effort to rule the world, they have uh, just about finalized a deal to purchase Twitch TV, which is the website where I stream for around a billion bucks. And the reason they do this is very clear. Uh, Google also owns YouTube, the website which you're actually watching this video on most likely. And uh, they have tried this streaming thing. YouTube does in fact have streaming, but because it's such a piece of crap, uh, it seems that they've given up to try to compete. And as with all businesses, if you can't compete and you're sitting on a mountain of money, you buy out your competition. And what better competition to buy than the best guys in the business? Twitch TV is a pretty awesome website. That's where I stream. The staff has been very good to me. The service has been very good to me. And you know, I do very well. People enjoy the stream. And for me, from my perspective, this deal doesn't really change very much, certainly not in a negative way, at least for a person like me, but for many other people, I feel that it does change things and it may change things quite negatively. So I want to give you guys my opinion and why this stuff kind of works the way it does. So before you guys realize why these things happen, you guys have to understand that on YouTube, you cannot uh, make a video and put whatever song you want. You can't just, you know, take your favorite hit off the radio, you know, put yourself on the webcam and slam that shit on the audio track. No chance. And the reason that is is because the music industry has uh, pretty much a firm grip on YouTube and on Google and um, they even have a program that automatically detects when a lot of the music is being played throughout a video and they remove the audio or you know some crazy stuff like that you can even get strikes in your account you can lose your YouTube it's a mess and these type of policies are not that um, implicated in Twitch I don't exactly know why but I have talked to the Twitch admins when I started streaming and thereafter and many times and I've tried to figure out why a lot of other streamers myself not included of course play a lot of you know whatever music they want essentially on their stream and why they're able to do this. And the feedback that I've received is that they're not exactly allowed to do this, it's just that it kind of slipped through the cracks and you know the music industry doesn't pressure them and if the music industry would like some of these streams taken down because they're infringing copyright, uh, they would follow those policies. So this is more or less hearsay but it obviously makes perfect sense and when uh, a company like Google will own a company like Twitch, these policies will absolutely be in place. And it actually makes me wonder if there will be some kind of retroactive, you know, backlash to this to where uh, people who streamed with music, unlicensed music in the past, uh, if they actually have to go through some kind of penalties or some kind of stuff like that. And this kind of hurts the smaller streamers because a lot of people who, you know, have you know, 10, 20, 30 viewers, maybe 100 viewers, a lot of them, they're just kind of chilling out. They're playing a game exactly as they would play uh, just by themselves. And for me, that is, a, that is the same as well, but most people, most of these people from what I've seen, like to have music in the background. And essentially, you ruin their gaming experience um, because of this new association, which kind of sucks. But all in all, uh, I feel it's a really good thing. Uh, the way that I've seen YouTube grow is the people who are really big in it, they gain a lot, they grow with the service. Uh, as YouTube grows, the biggest YouTubers grow the most. And I feel on Twitch uh, that process has also been um, realized, but now that perhaps Google gets involved, um, I believe they're going to maybe have some kind of cross service or something like that, or they're going to try to promote this stuff a lot more and I think in effect the same thing is going to go through so for a person like me I'm pretty happy with it I think most things are going to be positive but I do feel a little bad that when these things tend to blow up and I feel that it probably will it's usually the guys who are you know just starting out that you know kind of fall off and you, you guys get to see this you guys get to see how difficult it is for a lot of people to start up on YouTube without having like connections or that kind of like bullshit stuff that I've seen so many times. But all in all, it's pretty uh, it's pretty good and it's also a pretty nice trolling opportunity. A lot of people have posted you know stuff like um, you know this video cannot be seen in your country or that kind of stuff. I don't think the streams will be blocked based on country codes or anything like that. Um, 
I don't think there will be any integration with Google Plus or any of the ridiculous stuff that Google has brought to the table because, well, they're investing a lot of money in this case, a billion dollars for anyone, even a huge, very, very profitable company. Um, you know, you want to protect your investment. You don't want to change too many things and you certainly don't want to make the same changes that you've seen fail on a very similar service like YouTube. So I'm pretty pleased with it. I think good things are going to come from it and I hope things work out the best. And we'll see exactly just how they work out pretty soon, I'd imagine. So until then, have a good one. I'll see you guys tomorrow.